we're back with a very important uh, shout out today, and that is uh, for all the pet lovers out there, I'm joined by Lynn from P2 Pets, located just in Hawthorne Road, just around the corner from my office. And of course, we've got my dog Sammy with us as well, because um, Sammy is like a lot of other pets out there, a lot of other dogs out there, that's doing it tough in lockdown, getting a lot of exercise, but unfortunately at this time, can't get groomed. I know that you've been contacting a number of different places trying to get answers about the lockdown. Can you tell us about that? I tried to uh, call Small Business Victoria. Uh, they informed us the 26th of October, where maybe we can reopen, but depends on the numbers. Um, we tried to call um, DHHS, where they don't take calls at all. Um, so, then I try to visit um, the agriculture website. So it was a pretty firm, we have to close and just cut down on well, unusual, like um, not necessary expense. So I'll cut down a bit of food, no takeaways, cook yeah. more, just, yeah. When you hear that business like yours that have to pretty much uh, minimize even the food that they're putting on the table, to get by, I think it's a really important um, point for people to understand. Uh, yeah. Small businesses and sole traders are doing it so tough right now. So yes. if you were talking to the Premier Daniel Andrews today, what would you tell him? I want to tell the um, Minister that um, safety is always our first concern. In our entrance, we have a fence. So what I propose is the owner come in lock the fence, tie the dog on the fence, and the owner leave. Then I will come out, so that way we'll be contactless. Why Bunnings and Kmart can do contactless trading, but small business can't? We've written to uh, the Minister for Small Business with your suggestion of how you could open safely. And I suppose the call out today is to Dan Andrews, um, please um, just find some options here. Let's look at being um, being fair, being reasonable. We can do this safe. We can do this in a way that doesn't destroy small businesses and ultimately uh, destroy livelihoods. So thank you, Lynn. Thank you, everybody. And most of all, support local, shop local and support small business.